So we got Dogs Johnson versus CTG. Yeah, and they have already had their hand warmers, so they are getting getting right into it. Um, Interesting that Dogs is going with Pikachu. Yeah, um, Dogs, I think, does prefer Pikachu in the floatier matchups, uh, mostly Puff and Kirby. And I don't think these two have played since, um, I think it was a rest town in 2016, very long time ago. Wow. Which uh, Dogs, I think, actually took the set back when CTG was still improving. And Dogs are still improving as well, though. Still a very, very good player. Uh, CTG managed to get that set off of Shears. So let's see what he can do with this. The nice ops for a back throw. Oh, it's not going to take the stock, though. Yeah, so Dog's having another chance to recover. Wisely just going to ledge, and um, he's going to try to get as much extra credit here as he can. I wonder if Dog's uh, DI'd that so much that he avoided that pop-up from the down air. Uh, yeah. CTG had to use the back throw, or did CTG Z cancel that down air and not get the pop-up? Um, if he was going to grab, I'd assume he Z canceled it. Uh, doesn't it also be have to be in the center of the down air for the pop-up? I'm not, not sure what the down the pop up's hitbox is, but you have to not Z cancel it to get the pop up. And there's really no advantage, I don't think, to Z canceling the down air, because I don't think it it, it uh, speeds you up any. I mean, there's really it's pretty quick your your uh, landing. So yeah. You don't Z cancel. Oh. And CTG just keeping on the pressure, but uh, dogs up being just slightly far enough uh, each time. And gets that a quick kill with that up air. And back to neutral. Docs has been uh, pretty pretty good at just calling when CTG wants to come in. Uh, just kind of switching up his approach and defensive options. Not even opting for too many combos. As long as he can keep getting these straight hits, he's going to be comfortable. Oh. Man, that was very nice spacing from Dogs to just avoid that forward air. And, oh, nice. He's not letting up. Even though he's being hit, he's yeah. keeping with it. And CTG is going to have a tough time. He's not able to get back. Not enough jumps. Yeah, and that stock, Dogs had absolutely zero combos and ended up taking the stock from CTG. Uh, I think that's very telling of just how much Dogs pays attention to his spacing and just making sure he maintains a good position on stage. Yeah. I don't think I've been... He just doesn't overextend. It's really smart. And I mean, I think a lot of players who, who love big combos, they fish for, they see the percentages, and they fish for what they know they want. And I think it hurts them in their neutral a lot of the time. Yeah, uh, it gets kind of obvious when, you know, you might have only that one uh, one combo you're looking for, that one or two combos. Um, and, you know, it's not training mode. The opponent's going to be weaving around a lot. Yeah, and if they know you're looking for, you know, a grab at zero percentage, uh, at zero percent rather, uh, or something, you know, a anything that they know you're looking for. If you know you're, what your opponent wants, it sh you should be able to execute and avoid it. Yeah, and CTG still keeping it even, though. Um, and he won't need much here. And that's going to take it. it. Very nicely done. Managing to come in with that down air. Up yeah. tilt, gets a little dash, short hop rest. And it, it looked like in Doc's control the whole time, but uh, that's just the nature of Puff. Like, uh... She doesn't really need too much. Just one drill, one up tilt, and she can turn that into a stock, really, you know, shifting the momentum going into game two. Yeah, and Dogs uses a standard controller, but, uh, I mean, his DI can really neutralize. Well, if he has good DI, he can really neutralize a lot of what Jigglypuff can do with those down, air, down airs. I mean, for me, when I played CTG, I managed, if I'm, if I'm getting caught with a down air, I just DI really hard to the front of Jigglypuff. I just want to avoid that up tilt at yeah. all costs. And at that higher percent, you can afford the grab, right? Um, you get to a certain percent where it's just not going to combo into anything, and they're forced to uh, back throw. But <laughs> we don't see it there. And that narrow connect uh, on respawn while Jiggly's resting, but it hasn't. Well, it's leading to this, I guess. Oh, and and great edge guard. Doc's just so persistent. Um, again, just knowing he doesn't really need a combo, especially in those edge guard situations. Oh, and great grab, just uh, stuffing CTG coming in. And now he's opening up a little bit. 
Uh, maybe thinking he might need a little bit of a combo here uh, just to keep a stronger lead. Yeah. That grab range was crazy. And <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah, nice and simple. Doesn't want to risk the, uh, the rest on the left side of the stage. Ooh, and I think he wanted to run off. Maybe run off there. Oh, that f till is so good when Jiggly is, uh, hasn't sweet spotted yet. Yeah, and that's a trade uh, Dogs is going to take any, any day. Pikachu's ability to fly off the stage makes the F-Tilt uh, such a good option against a lot of characters when they're trying to recover right there because it keeps them somewhat close. It doesn't hit them too high. And then, of course, as Pikachu, you can go as deep as you want and go finish the job. Yeah, and it's just so quick, too. Um, even if you whiff, you can throw out another one or just uh, just safely choose another option right after. Yeah, and it's a nice big hitbox with a lot of priority. Mm -hmm. Oh, he goes for it there again, but CTG manages to make it back. Yeah, and I liked what we saw from CTG, having enough jumps to kind of faint going to ledge and just uh, shooting for dogs instead. Dogs was ready for it, though. Yeah, CTG spacing there. He was trying to bail out a bit, but dogs knew it and came in with that. Oh, great nair. Oh, and he read that. Oh, and no jump here. Ooh. Oh, and that time he's a little early with the up tilt. Yeah, still the right idea. Um, probably looking to just do up tilt into up air at this point. He tried that teleport up smash, which covered a lot of the plat, but. And a back air, maybe not the best move there. Well, Dogs doesn't make it back, but it doesn't have as much knockback as a, a nair. Yeah, an maybe, maybe, yeah. I think that was up air kill percent as well. Um, Still ended up paying off for him, though. Yeah. He does have a bit of a lead. Let's see Wait. if he can. You know, you actually, if you're far away enough, if you're far to the right or the left enough, forward throw, single up air, uh, down B actually does kill on Pikachu at times. Wow. Maybe we'll see that from uh, CTG as well. Uh, very quick of dogs, though, uh, to have that timing down for the plat drop there um, at a KO percent, so perfect option for. Uh, to counter CTG's pressure on shield. And we'll see that a lot from CTG with his approaches, um, where he'll kind of shoot for those edge cancels to get, you know, two fast falls in a row to go after his opponent. Oh, and here's a tough spot. Yeah, it's going to do it. So CTG up 2-0 right now. Yeah, and Dog's keeping it very close, but uh, he's going to have to find a way to close out these games if he wants a chance here. Uh, CTG uh, throwing a little look at the camera now. I think Dogs definitely has to get more DI on those drills. He can't, uh, he can't let himself just be easily up tilted or back thrown after a, a, a lot of hits from a from a down air. Right? Of course, like when it happens when you get a fast fall down air and you're just you're hit by a few of those hits, it's going to be harder to DI. But if it's a long process where you're being hit with a lot of dr uh, down air, a lot of that down air, you really need to swim through it and find a find an advantageous position to be in. Yeah, and uh, despite all that, just not feeling confident in his Pikachu despite the close games. Opting for Falcon instead, which I think this is a matchup CTG would much rather play. Yeah, I mean, CTG seems like he's very good at the Pika matchup, even though it's usually in Pika's favor. And and Dogs' is Falcon's very good, so maybe it'll work out for him. I want to see how Dogs approaches this matchup because I just don't see him play against the uh, floaties much anymore with Falcon. Um, yeah, he might have lost some of uh, some of the game, right? Yeah. Um, Good recovery. I like the ideas for those uh, edge guards there. Um, probably just not respecting that a uh, neutral B enough though. The old pound. <laughs> That's all it's going to take. Good on CTG just to make that nice read uh, for where Dogs wants to go during his invincibility. And CTG with low enough percent that that back air uh, during invincibility while he's still recovering from his rest doesn't hurt him that bad. Oh, and reads the tech in place. When he got the pop up from the down air, oddly enough, even though a lot of that was being shielded, I, don't, I guess he poked and. 
And uh, easy trade for stocks there from Dogs, but uh, CGG still up a stock here, and Dogs on his tournament life now. And twice we've seen CTG have forced people to switch characters. Oh, <laughs> great conversion. Like, uh, I think if you have a drill, you're going to want to use that on Jigglypuff offstage with, you know, her uh, vertical recovery just is not all that good. But CTG weaving his way in. Dog somehow getting out. We saw that DI that you've been wanting him to get from him. Yeah, and I don't know about that option for, for CTG. Going with that down air after the first up air, I think he could have done a few other things that would have been much simpler. But he finishes the job anyway and takes it 3-0 against Dogs. Yeah, just looking 